hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We was down for so long, didn't have no choice but to go. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So sorry for the wait, but we are back with another video. To all my new subscribers, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Today we are making Gao Biek. It's a Laos dish from Lao community. It's a comfort food for everyone to enjoy. We are actually going to jump right into it, so let's get started. So obviously the first thing that you want to do is get a pot, fill it up with water, about four to five quarts. Make sure that you leave enough headspace so when you're boiling the water it doesn't overflow. And then you're going to place your pot on medium to high heat to get that water boiled. In the meantime we're just going to go ahead and cut our onion. You want to make sure that you cut it just directly in half so we can brown all of the sides so we can put it in our boiling water. So next thing that I'm going to do is peel my ginger just a little bit so it's there's not too much skin when I'm browning it and putting it in the boiling water. So after I wash it off, I'm going to use my mortar and pestle so I can smash it just a little bit. Not too much because you don't want to break the whole ginger, but just enough so that aroma can rise. It should look like this, so not too much. Now you want to get a skillet and put it on high heat so you can place your onions and ginger to get them browned so you can get them ready for your hot boiling water. Now that your skillet is hot, you're just going to place all of your onions that you cut and your ginger on the skillet. Also you can skip this step and you can also broil your ginger and your onions. If that works for you, that's fine as well. At this point, your water should still be getting hot and boiled, so you can go ahead and place your onions and ginger. So I'm just checking it to make sure that it's getting brown. It is. I never brown mine way too much. I don't know why, but this, it works for me. So once I get them nice and brown, I'm just going to go ahead and put them to the side so I can uh, do my other preparation steps. So this is our lemongrass. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick rinse. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and slice it directly down the middle. I'm going to go ahead and use my mortar and pestle so I can smash the stalk of the lemongrass so I can release all of the flavor and aroma when we put it in the boiling water. It smells so good. Like once you do it, you can really smell the lemon and it just makes the soup very lemony, very flavorful. Now I'm just rinsing off my Chinese celery. I like to peel off the leaves so I can cut it in half and just use the stalk for my boiling water. Now that everything is prepared, it's time to add it to our boiling water. I'm just going to start off by adding my onions in there first. Now I'm going to add my ginger. I'm adding the Chinese celery stalk. Now I'm adding my lemongrass. You just put it in there just like so. Next is to add kefir lime leaves. Now I'm adding my chicken base. You can add one or two of those. I like to add two. Um, this time I only had one, but you can add two is good. So this should have been the first step, but it's all right to do it last. No big deal, but I'm adding fish sauce and I'm going to add some sugar, I'm going to add some salt, 
So what I mean by the first step is after that water gets boiled, you can add fish sauce, salt, sugar, the chicken base, and MSG, uh, the first step before adding your browned onions and ginger. But it's alright to do it at this step as well because it tasted so good. It tasted the same. So whatever step you'd rather do it in, you can do it now or you can do it before. I'm just going to stir it around now and let all this stuff get to boiling. You guys, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, I wish you guys can smell it. Try this recipe for yourself. You guys will love it. It'll be your go-to, I promise. So while that's all getting boiled, I'm just going to go ahead and prepare my chicken so I can add it to this boiling water. So you just want to wash your chicken. Now it's time to add it to our water and you're just going to let it cook on medium heat for around 45 minutes to one hour. Just make sure that you stir around your chicken so it can uh, cook evenly within that 45 minutes to one hour. Be sure to try not to overflow your soup because no one wants to make a mess. So. Yeah, just be careful when you're stirring your soup around. You can actually skip this step, but I'm adding a little bit more salt to my soup just to give it a little bit more flavor. And then I'm just going to stir it around. So cleaning your broth is like the secret step to this dish. So you just want to do it by removing all the scums and the fat on top of the broth. That's uh, comes from the chicken and you know all the ingredients together so you can use a better device but I'm using my spoon that's all that I have right now but you can use like a net spoon that works as well and um, yeah so it looks a little thick it looks jello-y you can tell what it looks like just make sure that you remove it it just brings this dish uh, together a hundred times more it looks cleaner it tastes cleaner and it's, like I said, the secret step. So my soup has been boiling for about an hour, so I think it's time to remove our chicken so it can cool so we can shred it. I'm using super long tongs to remove my chicken because the water is so hot and it's so slippery, but um, yeah, this is the best device that I had to use to remove my chicken, so just use whatever you think is best for you. Let your chicken cool for around 10 to 15 minutes. While my chicken cools, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the lemongrass, the celery, the ginger, the onion, and the kefir lime leaves. You want to make sure that you're removing every single thing. So right now we are cleaning our broth completely out to where it's only the water because that's what we're going to use for our soup.
leave your uh, water on medium low heat while you shred your chicken. I like to use two forks or a fork and a knife or a fork in my hand to shred it like so. However you find it to be easy, do so. I'm placing my shredded chicken in a bowl so it's easy access when it's time to put it in our hot boiling water when we prepare our, our soup. Fill a small saucepan with water and boil. Now it is time to prepare our noodles so we can cook it. This is the Galbiak noodle signature. It is made out of rice flour and tapioca. It is so good. You see how doughy it is. It is so good with this dish. I recommend that you use the signature Galbiak noodles. If you're going to add meatballs, now is the time and let it cook for around 5 minutes on medium heat. This is my favorite part, so just use a soup spoon and scoop out some broth into a pho bowl. Or if you don't have a pho bowl, just use a regular one. Fill it up to however much broth that you think that you want or need. This is the best part. And I'm going to add my meatballs with the broth to my bowl. For the noodles, I recommend that you follow the package instructions. Mine are fresh, uh, freshly made, so I just uh, dip them in hot boiling broth water for around 30 seconds to a minute and they got very soft. So add your noodles to the broth and then add some shredded chicken, adding some green onions, and then I'm going to add some uh, fresh cilantro, roughly chopped. Now I'm adding fried garlic. This is like the best part to me. Like it makes it taste 20,000 times better. It just brings it all together 10 times more. You guys, you have to try. You have to have fried garlic. Now I'm just gonna dress it. So I added my bean sprouts and now I'm adding my sriracha. I'm gonna add some chili oil. It makes it more spicy. You can uh, eat this dish with or without spice. It tastes good with or without you guys. Believe me, the broth, it just makes up for everything. Like you don't even need to add anything. But I like my dishes spicy. I added some fish sauce, some oyster sauce. So that is it you guys. I'm so excited we finally covered this video. It is so good. Let me know what you think about it or if you tried it for yourself in the comment section down below. Let us know what videos you want to see next. If you haven't subscribed, please do. To all my new subscribers, thank you so much. We appreciate and love all you guys. Please stay tuned. We have a lot of things that we want to uh, show you guys. So. Just stay tuned for all the new videos. We love you guys and have a good and blessed day. Please make sure to turn on post notifications.